Okay, good evening. This is Debbie Davis. It is September 18th, uh, 2024. Uh, so I just want to do a quick update of just a few things and um, some new things. And so, uh, so the last phone call, I, you know, was having these issues with the unemployment office and um, just so you know, Governor Tim Wall's office never returned my call, and I did leave a message. You know, they never returned the call, um, and then I had left a message. So they make you go through these hoops, you know, to get your unemployment money, all these different things. And then <coughs> I had left, <coughs> you're supposed to upload a resume. I finally figured out how to upload the resume. <coughs> Excuse me. And then a career force <coughs> excuse me, person is supposed to call you back. And um, nobody ever called me back. Um, excuse me, I have this cough. And I try to go in to the VA and get something and they <coughs> wouldn't give me anything. They said, uh, well, you know, it's probably a virus. You know, and they wouldn't give me anything. Okay, so... Not impressed, VA. Um, <coughs> I've had this for a few weeks and it's not going away, so that I was trying to see if I could get something because it's obviously something going on. It's like all constricted and I have, you know, like muc, mu you know, um, and they wouldn't give me anything. They gave me some cough drops. Oh, okay. So I just spent like hours there and, uh, you know, f just got cough drops, you know. I wish I could have gotten at the drugstore myself. Okay, so <clears throat> our government is really something else. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, anyway, uh, so, yeah, the so I, I did upload the resume, um, and uh, then um, the career force person was supposed to call me back. I had left a message right on the phone call here and they were supposed to call me back and they didn't either so um, you know it's like I'm doing my part and then they're not doing theirs and then they try to say I somehow you know don't get this week's uh, unemployment because I somehow am gonna be chart you know somehow found guilty that I'm not doing my part when really it's them not doing their part okay I just sort of make this clear and then I there was a couple weeks that they denied me where they had, they said that I missed a reemployment assessment. And I was here uh, waiting for their phone call and they never called. And I still, um, and I had left a message on how to appeal that those two weeks that they denied me and they have not gotten back to me on that either. So they're, this is, you know, this is pretty clear that they're playing all kinds of games and fraud in this state with this. And it's disgusting. <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting what's going on in this country right now. Uh, so, and then, <coughs> and then I get this, um, <coughs> something in the mail. <coughs> like, basically a threatening thing in the mail. And, um, oh boy. So, this is probably one of the Masons. The Masons sent me a, a just a real real loving um, postcard because they love me so much, <laughs> and so I just thought I would share that. I just kind of laughed. I mean, I don't really get scared anymore from these things. Uh, I'm just I'm past getting scared. I mean, they're just they just show what what uh, what uh, what jerks they are. I, okay, so my new word is uh, <clears throat> I got this from this lady named Laura Lee Mystica and she calls these people ass souls like assholes but ass souls so I'm just gonna start calling them a bunch of ass souls sent me this you know the Masons and the, you know the people that are after me uh, they're a bunch of ass souls okay I'm sorry but I think that's funny so I think that's funny that's my new word for these people that come after me when all I'm doing is trying to do the right thing and just try to 
get the help that I deserve and I can't get the help I deserve and and then you're calling me a nutcase. Oh, really? I'm the one that's nuts. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Um, so I... <clears throat> I wanted to show um, a video. Uh, let's see. Okay. Did I... Okay. I wanted to show a bit, an important video that I sent out in an email and um <clears throat> and i because i had touched on this briefly about these um these satellites these these dome these white dome looking things um actually have satellites underneath them okay and they are at like every cia um facility there is um there's apparently like a five eyes uh you know facility um in Australia and they have all these dome like looking things um, if you you can watch the show called Pine Gap on Netflix and that touches on um, the CIA in Australia that's part of the five eyes with our our CIA over here and um, they have these these dome looking things and they you know these satellite they have satellites that can that are are directed energy weapons and mind control weapons underneath these dome looking things and so Apparently, this is where they've been keeping a lot of these directed energy weapons and this guy um, <clears throat> And then I also saw another movie a couple weeks ago uh, Called uh, the listening and it's I think from the 90s. I think it's a little bit older movie but um, and that was based on kind of exposing the NSA and <clears throat> um, a, pro a project with the NSA called project tumbleweed and um, I mean, it was just, it's based on just this, this um, woman, apparently, like, apparently there's these guys who worked for Tumbleweed, the NSA, and apparently one of them accidentally just, just lost or left their suitcase somewhere <clears throat> in Italy and, um, you know, accidentally, and this woman just happens to find it and she was just trying to turn it in and um do the right thing and then instead they like kidnapped her and interrogated her and almost killed her and one of the guys from the nsa you know actually had to save her life and then they um <clears throat> they took away his clearance and did all this i mean it <clears throat> it was just it's just kind of tells you what you know how dirty these agencies are and that was like in the 90s you know and i mean they've gotten even more dirty now but uh but this is um, a guy in Canada that's exposing um, this one military base there that has all these these dome looking things and and they're all and he says they're doing um, these directed they all have directed energy weapons underneath them and they're committing crimes against humanity against all the Canadians at these bases so if you haven't seen this, this video is about the Canadian military base yeah. that is attacking and torturing Canadians yeah with electromagnetic weapons or directed energy weapons. CFS Leitrim, or Canadian Forces Station Leitrim, is a military base in Ottawa, Canada, and they control signals intelligence. Uh, the base, if you look at the base, you'll see a bunch of, like, uh, massive white round structures. They look like big, massive golf balls. But really, they're called ray domes. Really? And underneath those ray domes... Our military satellite dishes and these military satellite dishes control the satellites that uh, attack and torture Canadians with directed energy weapons now I'm going to read to you, read to you uh, the definition of a directed energy weapon a directed energy weapon is a ranged weapon that damages its target with highly focused energy without a solid projectile including lasers microwaves particle beams and sound beams potential applications of this technology include weapons that target personnel missiles vehicles and optical devices now here's a look at uh two of the ray domes that are sitting on the property of canadian forces station leitrim and you can see this is just a protective covering that's all it is to protect the satellite dish from the weather elements 
But these are the uh, satellite dishes that are used to, to control the satellites that um, torture Canadian citizens illegally by these criminal Freemasons that work at this uh, military base called Canadian Forces Station Leitrim. Here's another look at the base. Here's a look at some uh, some of the cars there in the parking lot of Canadian Forces Station Leitrim. Now these people are guilty of crimes against humanity. All these people here are in their cars. They have license plates. Um, all these people are guilty of crimes against humanity. They're going to this military base like a bunch of order following. They want to call people Nazis. Well, these people are the Nazis, okay? Because they torture civilians with military weapons. Innocent, unarmed civilians. Canadian civilians in Canada. So these fucking morons here are torturing Canadian citizens. And here's all their cars in the parking lot of CFS Leitrim. All these order following criminals. You know, it's too bad somebody in Ottawa can't uh, go here to Canadian Forces Station Leitrim and get all these cars on uh, on film. Just walk through the parking lot, get all their license plates on film, and then publicly expose their plates. Publicly, because they're committing crimes. So we might as well uh, publicly reveal who these people are. Here are all their cars. These people, I mean, you're not being, all the targeted individuals, you're not being tortured uh, by some mystery, uh, you know, alien. <laughs> You know, they're people that are torturing you, okay? And these people work at these military bases, and they drive cars, and they go home, and they eat cereal for breakfast, and these fucking pieces of shit are responsible for the torture and murder of Canadian citizens, innocent Canadian citizens, civilians, unarmed civilians, and uh, these people should be outed. We need to out these pieces of shit. So, so don't just sit there and do nothing. Put some effort in. You know, put some effort in. To making these people pay for their crimes, okay? Because they're committing crimes against humanity. Um, here they are, guys. Here are the people torturing you. Here they are. There's their cars in Canada. Let's turn around here. Because there's another parking lot back here on the other side, too. And these people are guilty of torturing Canadians, too. Let's see here. Let's see. There we go. See? All these people back here and these cars. No, that's a lot of people. Involved in uh, big, massive war crimes. Here are your Nazis. These are the people, you know, militaries torture people all the time throughout history. And the pe these people get caught and, and they get uh, punished. You know, during war during uh, a couple of the world wars, they executed people in these criminal militaries that committed crimes against civilians. You know, these people paid the ultimate price with their lives because they chose to uh, commit war crimes. What punishment do these people, these Canadians, deserve for torturing Canadian civilians? Here are their vehicles. We need to, like, publicly find out who these people are and put their names on a list of war criminals. Now, I'm going to show you an example. Here's, a, I mean, there's a lot of vehicles here, but let me show you an example of uh, a couple of war criminals, okay? Now, I made a video before, and uh, here's a war criminal that works at that base, or he used to. His name is Jason Smith, and he was one of the commanders that worked at CFS Leitrim. There's one of the people that drive those cars to work every day. His name's Jason Smith. He lives in Ottawa, and he's a criminal. He's a war criminal, and uh, he should be brought to justice and punished. For the crimes he's committed. Now here's another war criminal. His name is Roberto Gentile. He, he, there's a couple lines across his face there because of the screen. But uh, Roberto Gentile worked at... Uh, he's retired now. He retired from the Canadian military. He, he thinks he got away with his crimes against humanity. And Roberto Gentile is a war criminal. And he's guilty of crimes against humanity. And he thinks because he's retired that he's gotten away with his crimes and he's not going to be punished, and there's going to be no repercussions against him. And he's just going to uh, get away with what he did. But we can't let these people get away with what they did. Here he is, Roberto Gentile. We can't let Roberto Gentile get away with what he did when he worked at CFS Leitrim in the Canadian military. Because he tortured people, he hurt people, innocent people, Canadian civilians, unarmed civilians, and uh, he has to be punished for what he did. And this other guy here, Jason Smith, this terrorist, criminal, Nazi scumbag, he needs to be punished for what he did too. He can't just do whatever he wants and get away with it. There are um, repercussions uh, to what everybody does on this planet. And if he wants to, like hurt and torture other people in Canada, Canadian civilians, then he has to pay the price for the crimes he's committed. So guys, 
hold these hold these people responsible for what they've done. Spread their faces on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, all over the place. Spread their faces all over the internet. You guys make videos yourselves of these criminals, Roberto Gentile and Jason Smith, who worked at Canadian Forces Station Leitrim. So here it is. Canadian Forces Station Leitrim, the Department of National Defense for Canada. And, you know, Canada's politicians are all Freemasons, and they're all a big pack of fucking criminals. And uh, I'm sure the commanders of this base right here, Canadian Forces Station Leitrim, I'm sure they're Freemasons too. So why don't we find out who are the base commanders of Canadian Forces Station Leitrim? Because we can really hold them responsible for uh, the crimes they've committed. Let's not get them... Let's, let's not let these people get away with what they've done let's seek justice let's expose them publicly all over the internet and uh yeah let's make them pay for the crimes guys let's not let them get away with it okay let's make them pay the price they wanted to uh hurt people so let's make them let's let's get them uh the punishment they deserve okay guys and don't just sit there and do nothing take some action against these uh criminal nazis you want to call people nazis well these are the nazis okay these the freemasons are the nazis that's what the nazis are and they torture canadians see these scumbags right here here's all the scumbags cars at canadian forces station leitrim in ottawa a lot of scumbags working there these uh, order followers they're willing to follow orders to torture canadians and you know what i'll bet you there's a lot of freemasons working at this base right here a lot of scumbags a lot of traitors a lot of uh turncoats backstabbers uh judases they would call them in the bible they're a bunch of judases these are the type of people that would have uh nailed jesus to the cross for 30 pieces of silver they're called judases they're like uh they betray they betray people who were good like what was jesus jesus was an honest person in the bible who told the truth about the criminal government and then they got these order fall these would have been like the uh soldiers uh you know nailing jesus to the cross right here these people here are judas's and they're in this military base getting their 30 pieces of silver uh, from torturing people. These people make a living torturing Canadians with uh, directed energy weapons. So yeah, guys, help expose these scumbags at Canadian Forces Station Leitrim. Help me expose them, okay? I'm making these videos to expose them. I'm putting some uh, effort in here to expose these people. I want you to put in some effort too because these people are committing crimes against humanity and they deserve to be punished. Okay, guys, thanks for watching watching the video until next time peace so he did a really good job with that video and um yeah i mean this is really serious you know what they're doing with these uh i guess he calls them radons radomes so um if you look up the um like the five eyes out of australia cia uh, australia like i think all of the cia uh, facilities have these dome looking um, okay so the five eyes is a um, alliance comprising of Australia Canada New Zealand and the United Kingdom and the United States okay and it's a uh, it's the signals intelligence agencies okay and um, but they all let's see yeah they have yeah they have these like Pine Gap, okay, so this is Pine Gap, you know, that's this is the Australian one, you know, and they have these dome looking things, you know, they all have these dome, all the CIA facilities have those radomes, and they're like satellites underneath them, so, you know, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, so, you know, they're dome looking things, that's Pine Gap, um, Australian. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I believe all the five eyes, you know, have these, these dome looking things. So they're all, yeah, Pine Gap. Okay, there's that Netflix show called Pine Gap. Um, okay, so this is definitely, uh, those, those, those are definitely part of, uh, you know, we thought they were just satellites, but they can apparently be used as energy weapons too, underneath there, so. Um, I just wanted to remind people of that and um, and that you know we do we have to all start taking action because it's true they are committing crimes against humanity against us and so we have to uh, 
you know, we have to hold these people accountable. And that's what I'm trying to do with my videos is, ex is exposing these things. These, these, I've been hit with directed energy with these devices as a whistleblower and other veterans have been being hit and under other targeted individuals, you know, uh, <clears throat> um, any kind of people that, that are a threat, you know, you get on this targeted list and they'll, they'll start hitting you with these weapons. And um, it creates legitimate problems. You know, it can they hit you with different areas of your body. Well, if you're already weak in a certain area of your body, you know, they can cause a heart attack with these weapons. You know, this is, these are not jokes. They're, they are killing people with these weapons. So I just wanted to uh, play that video and um, just remind people that we have to hold the, keep holding these people accountable. Okay.